Hello everyone, I'm Henry Lee from BlueHairArts.com. Today we're going to show you another episode of a seal engraving process. The art of seal engraving in China is uh, one of the oldest uh, traditional art form. And uh, surprisingly, um, I heard uh, from my YouTube viewer uh, he thought uh, it's very, um, it looks very easy and uh, he ordered everything and uh, made a first attempt and tried to master this uh, uh, difficult art in the first trial. So uh, this obviously not true. I tried to make it look easy but actually it's not. Uh, it takes practice. So don't expect you to do the same thing as I do here uh, in the first try. But uh, if you keep practicing, you will be as good as, uh, as me. And uh, it's a very enjoyable process. So, disclaimer, don't do it at home. Just kidding. I'm now going to show you uh, some details. Before we start, I'd like to talk about uh, some common questions I got. Uh, first of all, with regard to the, the cutting tools, uh, you might think they uh, should be have uh, some more advanced modern technology like laser cutter or uh, some other electronic tools that uh, make it easier. Uh, I also uh, like use in search of such uh, tools, but uh, I have failed because, uh, according to my uh, scientist uh, brother, Xiao Hua, he is a professor in Double E uh, in China. He told me that uh, there is no possibility to cut the natural stone because the temperature that the stone is, was formed is like a volcanic uh, tech temperature, so you cannot really cut with any, any uh, as in like a laser. It will explode if you do. Um, and also, um, you might think uh, something like uh, the you know the dentist tools. Those is possible for certain styles, like uh, very even lines uh, style or something, uh, but not for the kind of uh, calligraphic work or antique kind of effect things like that. So uh, it's different. Uh, but you can try if you are a dentist, you, you have access to those uh, electronic tools. I don't have it uh, myself, but uh, I know some uh, serial engraving artists have similar handheld tools like that. It's a little sand uh, ball or, or, or wheel or something like that. So it's not uh, commonly used. By the way, let me show you a picture of this. Uh, uh, friend uh, on YouTube. He sent me those pictures of his uh, first practice, I call it. Uh, he did uh, okay with the transfer of uh, design onto the stone. Uh, he used the computer website, generated the design, and then transferred on stone with the acetone. It's okay. Uh, and you will see the process uh, later with me. And then after that, he did this carving. Uh, you can see this is very typical. Uh, I've seen this in my class. At uh, uh, the cutting, get off, uh, didn't you know follow the design. That's very common. Just need some practice, and I'll show you the tips if you stay tuned. Okay. So first of all, let's talk about uh, uh, how to prepare the stone and the transfer the design onto the stone. You need some uh, sandpaper. Uh, I will use uh, very fine ones like the zero, uh, zero, zero or something. Uh, so very fine, just take out the wax, the, the wax on the stone. And if the stone uh, is not leveled well, uh, you may you may send it a little further, so just make it level, very flat. Okay, now um, let me show you the design. Okay, we have this uh, uh, 
this design in negative and positive two different comic styles, same characters. Uh, this uh, client named Mike Dunn in Australia asked me to translate his name into Chinese. Actually, you can do that too with the uh, help of a, a website. I'll give you a link uh, in the uh, Sale and Growing Service page and Blue Hand Arts. And uh, you'll find a character for uh, your last name. In this case, D U N N, uh, translated into Chinese as Du. It's just a Chinese last name. We only have about 100 family names. Uh, so it's uh, you, unlike the Western name, you have more family names than uh, first names. And for first name, we can use uh, uh, lots of uh, uh, characters, but uh, some are more common in male names, like this one, Ma. It's good for translate uh, the the M uh, M I my Ma. In Chinese, ma. The, the Chinese has tongues, ma. And the, the third character, first name, uh, last character is uh, Kai. So it, you cannot really make the exact translation, you have to recreate it in Chinese. Uh, the Chinese name. So this has meaning like uh, prosperous, uh, luxuriant, uh, and uh, prolific. This this character means the standard model. Uh, it's good for you know, male name. Okay. So this this is uh, how we translate it. Then we uh, read in a seal from the right to left and the to uh, from top to bottom so it reads like that Du Ma Kai okay then I use a laser jet printer to to shrink the uh, designed to the exact size of this stone, the half inch stone, or two centimeters. I made several coupons so in case uh, it didn't work the first try, I can uh, make another attempt. Okay. Again, we we put the the front and back orientation correctly, so this is, will be exactly how you stand it, right? So you want uh, the lower corner on this uh, side, so the you hold it comfortably. And uh, align the seal perfectly. The seal is uh, uh, correct, is the final effect and the image on the stone will be mirrored, flipped like this. If you do just if you, you, you print on the stone. Okay, now use a liquid uh, called acetone, it's a nail polish remover. You can use the scrubber and then lift it before it gets completely dry. So um, this time I have a better print, but you can see it's smeared a little bit, so the stroke looks finer. Uh, it's okay for me, but maybe for you, you want to make it exact. So this process will go on and on. So you have, I have a whole sheet of coupons. That's why uh, just you know, keep doing this until you're satisfied.
But for now, I just, uh, to save time, I'm going to just work on this uh, uh, on this effect I already got. So I just carved carve the stroke a little uh, wider. Anyway, so it's not going to be the same with the design uh, because the hand carved process and the stone. Notice how I use the knife. Uh, I hold the knife like a pen and use this index finger, uh, this index finger and thumb to, uh, to push the, the knife. And then use ring finger and the small finger to hold the stone. Like that. So I always uh, push the stroke in one uh, most convenient direction, like uh, from right to left, and then you turn the stone instead of uh, turn the knife. If you need. That's why I like to hold the stone, if ever possible, in my left hand. And you can go over a uh, stroke to make it a broader. Try to hide the tip. It, this is hard to do than you know speak. Uh, so you need to Control the speed and the angle, so they're not um, just a single a string line, but there's a width. You, know, you can go very broad sometimes. By the way, this style we call the negative carving is more difficult than most of you may think than um, the other style, the positive carving. So the stroke in white, uh, negative carving, is more difficult than relief carving because you have to be very careful with the stroke. You are doing the stroke itself, not taking out the background. For the other style, you can do whatever you, you can to just take out the background, but not with this style. You have to be very careful. The long stroke, long pushing stroke is very hard. You have to use uh, or your arm, your shoulder, and the other hand also, uh, coordination.
Okay, now I'm going to make a first imprint. Looks perfect. You can see the design and the final result is not exactly the uh, same, but uh, that's uh, the nature of this uh, art. You cannot repeat. Okay, now I'm going to make an uh, official imprint. Also, make a kind copy for Michael. Perfect. <laughs> okay, finally, I like to thank uh, Nick for your uh, share of uh, for sharing your experience with your first uh, seal project, and I hope you get encouragement from this uh, video and uh, keep watching my other videos for tips and uh, techniques, and uh, good luck. Also, I'd like to thank. Uh, Mike Dunn for your commissioning and uh, your trust in my uh, uh, artistic uh, judgment on your name seal and uh, everybody on YouTube thank you for watching I hope you have a good time and hope you have enjoyed this project goodbye Thank you.